Hey everybody, it's your friend Kevin. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all of you. This is your divine inspiration of the day. I'm going to start with my credits. The wonderful Kyle Gray with the brand new 22 Archangels Oracle deck. Images by Jennifer Hawkyard. This is our card of the week, and incidentally, it's Faith, Moving Mountains. Uh, our card of the day comes from an equally a magnificent man, Radley Valentine, um, Animal Guides. This is a rework of a former Animal Guides tarot deck, except there is a little different energy to it. Um, a little more regal energy to it, a little more upbeat. It's uh, like, I don't know, it's, I haven't got the old ones, so I really can't compare them, but I like them. And of course, I love animals. All right, so with that said, we are working with the Affirmation Deck Happier Me cards, um, company called Ariond. Go to Amazon, look up Ariond, you'll find all kinds of things in there. So we're going to start off with, oh, incidentally, I made some notes that this is a number one day. A number one in angel numerology basically says a spark of creation. Um, probably works with the nine of water. If you're a tarot person, nine of cups. It's like make a wish. Uh, get your stones out. Get your magic wands out. Get your colors out. Do all of those things. Be ambitious. Be creative. Start a new adventure. Focus on what it what is you want to create. This is about masculine energy. This is about going out there, being brave, being original, and, you know, doing a twirl, if you will, on what you're looking for. Now, I'm going to say something else before we get into the other message. We are on a full moon, which typically means putting into the full moon that which we wish to remove, that which we wish to release. And in my own world, it is about releasing the weight of worry, releasing the frenzies of fear, uh, and you can do that in quite a few ways. I love, I love, love the color of blue, electric blue, sapphire blue, that beautiful deep sea blue. You can fill up a bottle uh, like a fancy bottle and put some blue dye in it, if you will. Something to focus you on blue. Look, this little Merkaba thing is blue. Um, anything that brings you the light of Archangel Michael the light of other guides and spirits that will help you to cut, remove and release the weightiness. It's a bit like emptying out your luggage when you get home. You're not going to just leave your luggage in the suitcase. But if you're planning for another trip and you still got luggage from the last trip, you probably need to get it out, sort it out and put some different ones in there. All right, uh, let's work. start working with our... Um, today's affirmation i am strong and resilient which yes it is this is what you say in the mirror look yourself in the eye and tell yourself i'm strong and resilient and i'm going to jump over this mess whatever that mess is you believe it is everybody has a mess yesterday we talked about everybody making mistakes it's okay to do it learn from them and then the little message that goes with it Think of a situation when you showed strength. How did you feel? How did you recover? Acknowledge that every situation that you surpass only makes you stronger and more resilient. Now, I have another little quip that I use for that. When you level up, you get to a new level. Challenges, difficulties, strife. Uh, all of those things that hold us temporarily in the storm clouds of worry, anxiety, depression, those not so good feelings, they are all there to help you level up. They're all there to push another boundary. And so when they show up, we're oftentimes saying, well, you know, Holy Spirit, I'm going to have to give this to you because I really don't know what to do. That's the best thing you can do. Then listen 
to what's going on. You know, when it comes to crystals, if I've got crystals, I might want to use an amethyst crystal. I might want to use a, a, some kind of blue agate. Um, but always, hello, we have some selenite that brings power to it, cleanses off anything that shouldn't be there and lets you push the amplifies that blue healing energy to get you through it my ism today is may the light that is created here and now be for the highest good of all so it is so shall it be so it is so shall it be so it is so shall it be and thank you thank you thank you our card of the week faith moving mountains goes right along with embracing new opportunities and embracing new energies and leveling up to a new level trusting in our own abilities to create miracles along with other people the impossible is going to become possible but i'm also going to urge you that with your miracle making with your releasing of the old it is time to hold hands with those that hold hands with you to help your fellow man and help yourself at the same time when people give to you when they impart their love on you um they are uh getting they're feeling like they're they're um, um i'm contributing in some way it's wonderful um i know when i do it when i give to other people that like oh yes they need it let's go do it let's go you know uh, whether it's a hairdo or a hair color or listen i'm going to help you do this let's just make a difference it makes me feel good goodness love is always a good thing all right Gertrude and Beatrice, you're standing by with the card of the day, which adds to our miracle of newness. Let me have a little quick look in my third eye. Um, what is going on? Well, Gertrude and Beatrice are just sitting in a garden. The wall is gone. The gate's gone. But they're looking at all the vegetables coming up. They're looking at all the flowers coming up. They're looking at the springtime turning into summertime. Oh, uh, Beatrice is sitting, uh, sipping what looks like a refreshing drink. So it's fanning herself. Here goes the card. Um, oh, well, look at that. Now, this is so interesting. I believe this might have been a very similar co cover to the former deck. It looks very much like this. Um, I can't say for sure if it was this. Some of you will comment below and if you've got the original deck can tell me, yeah, that was the cover. Um, cats. Look, I got a story. I told you I'm feeding feral cats. I had no idea, which is really stupid of me, silly, that feral cats could be tamed. I really didn't know. I thought that they were just wild and that if you got too close and you tried to pet them that you would end up with cat scratch fever and I didn't want that. But one of them, who I've called Toby, or Tobias, or Theodore, or Theo, one of those names, just so cuddly. It's like he's striving for his daddy. But yesterday I was petting him, and I just thought, this is Archangel Ariel, just showing me the love, showing me that this lion, this little tabby gray cat is uh, giving me love. Anyway, listen, enough of that. Persian cat, the queen of fire. Now, the queen of fire is in my opinion, a force to be reckoned with. She is that mother um, um, that comes and says, come on, we got to get it, girl. Like, it, it just reminds me of right when you think that, you know, you're running around town with your drawers around your ankles and you're showing all your bits and pieces, she comes along and says, pull yourself together, pull your pants up, let's just stop this nonsense right now. Um talented brilliant independent and charming we all need people around us that do that this is about feeling that way look at that sunflower look at her kittens she has not a, she does not have a worry in the world you'd never look at this persian cat and say well uh i don't know what how she got to be where she is well trust me she didn't do it by sitting back in the laundry room washing towels and sheets. She did it by saying, what does she say? Don't miss, don't underestimate your ability to manifest your dreams. Faith is saying the same thing. I need to sit in this chair right now and take on the ability of this cat. Manifest your dreams. You may have several priorities vying for your attention at once, but you can do it. So if any of us you, me, any of us are wondering 
what am I going to do and how am I going to do it? How am I going to juggle all of this and get it done? This Queen of Fire says, well, you're not going to do it from where you are. You're not going to do it with your thinking, at, your stinking thinking and your um, worrying. You know, at the beginning of the week, we had this card, which happens to be sitting on the desk. The gazelle popped in. Quick, let's go. Another fire card. Fire is what burns off anything that doesn't need to be here. Fire is what takes care of anything that sh shouldn't be around. And if stuff is leaving your life, if stuff has decided, well, you know, people, you can find friends, people don't agree with you, aren't lining up with your choices, are, are, are sort of being in that world of um, nah, 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 judgment, no, 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 no. Clear, cancel, delete, goodbye. Um, it's it's all done. Everything is done in perfect timing. There is, I like divine timing, even though human timing gets in the way and can be a little bit annoying because it brings up the feeling of patience or impatience. It brings up that feeling we want instant gratification. Well, wait a minute. Sometimes instant gratification is like you... Um, act in haste and you repent at leisure. So right now, with all these energies, it's a great time to get things accomplished, to work on your dreams and your goals, to see how are you going to accomplish it and who are you going to bring in? Not just the human who's, but the spiritual who's as well. Um, you know, you've done this more than once. But the important thing is that you don't worry about the process. You let that go. You let the fear of it happening go. Assistance is always, always, always available when we need it. You probably won't need it. Don't underestimate what you're able to do, what you've learned to do. And you've got to be able to make your dreams come true. You've got to sit in the pilot seat. You've got to lift the plane off the ground. And you can do this. The Persian cat is like that representative who's able to do absolutely anything. And if you're really not into these animal um, cards, you've got a deck of tarot. It could be Morgan Greer. It could be any of them. Look up the Queen of Wands. I feel like, you know, you've got the Queen of Hearts. You've got the Queen of Wands. This is a no-nonsense. Two clicks and a twist. Get on with it. Um you know, this is one of the, it's like a grandma or an auntie that says, what in the world are you doing? Get off your, you know, and do your thing. You know, do your thing, twirl, get it going. Sometimes we have to do that. I know this week, uh, personally, I sort of had to have that kick in the, the behind to uh, work on, well, what's next? Where am I going? What am I doing? What's next? Um, situations have come up. Situations have come up where I have, you know, put forth a request to somebody and sort of made like, you know, um, you know, it's about time. I took care of some business here and I'd like to, you know, ask this and it got shot back down. Like, no, not going to do it. <laughs> I found myself aghast. Normally I would have said, yeah, no problem. It's OK. You're probably deserving. Yeah, no, I'll do it. This person, oh, no, no. Quite interesting. And I wanted to go down that rabbit hole where you beat yourself up. You feel all kinds of ways, the judgment. And then I just thought to myself, well, it's OK. It's perfectly all right. I'm just going to accept it and move on because there will come a time when I'll just something else will happen. I'm listening. Beatrice is saying that the challenge for most of us who are caregivers and service providers is number one, we don't necessarily take care of ourselves and what we need. And number two, those that we care for and provide services for are also coming to us for something. They are coming to get something from us. They're coming with their stuff that they need help with from us. So it's important that we get in this energy of keeping ourselves light, bright and bubbly. 
And when we find ourselves falling underneath the radar and underneath the line of not feeling that, of being in the judgment of ourselves and the judgment when all that's going on, if we're not careful, that's the ego wanting to keep us stuck, wanting to keep us in that place, <laughs> wanting to give us cat scratch fever. <laughs> that's what is the big O. It's okay to have one of those days where things are not quite as bright and shiny because then it makes us appreciate the days that are. Just don't stay there. I don't like staying there. It is against my nature. It is, it is not up for what I'm up for. Uh, no, no, no. Clear, cancel, delete. Goodbye. All right, my friends, that's it for today. Thank you, Beatrice. Thank you, Gertrude. I love you. I love you. And I love you. Until tomorrow. Bye for now. Hey, everybody. We hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with all your friends. Uh, here's a QR code if you decide you'd like to get a private personal reading with me. I'm available most evenings and on the weekends. Just go over to the website book in what session 30 minutes 60 minutes uh, and then fill in the contact information and i'll be back in touch and if you feel kind enough here is a link to my donation button energy exchange of any amount is always gratefully received until next time be well be blessed and thanks so much for watching bye